Well, hi, my name is Anthony Reimer, and um, I, I guess my story really kind of begins in high school. I it was raised in a church, but once I got into middle school, I really didn't it wasn't required to go anymore, so I kind of stopped going. But my dad, in when I was in high school, kind of started going back to church. And before you know it, I'm dating a girl in high school who goes to church, and so I'm visiting her church, and then my dad is, I'm going to his church, and then my mother's church, and so it was this kind of testing out the other waters. I'd kind of been raised in, in what I thought one church was, and then, and then I kind of let it all go away when I went to college. Unfortunately, I'd love to say that I continued that journey, but I moved to New York City as soon as I graduated high school, and kind of let the city take hold of me. I, you know, got involved in drinking too early and drugs and just, you know, stupid college things and kind of really started to lose my way. And I went to Alabama, um, which is a good place to be if you want to find a church. And uh, I ended up going down there and I, I started living by myself and I kind of got into this place where I was just kind of lonely and living for myself and one night I remember sitting at home and, and really feeling down and really feeling lost and really feeling not knowing where to go and who to turn to and and then I walked outside and there was a, a, a television sermon uh, going on from Billy Graham and he was at the he was at Yankee Stadium and being a baseball fan that was a pretty big deal for me and so I heard his talk I heard his tell everybody to come forth if you want to believe and you want to follow Christ and I didn't know what to do I didn't know where to start but I just knew I was crying and so I followed him in the prayer and then before you know it the next day I I got up real early like at six o'clock and I ended up meeting this guy named Keith who ended up being a pastor at a church and invited me to his church in Alabama then when I finally moved back up to New York after school I, I got involved in another church and started running the kids team and the kids ministry and uh, running a drama group, running a, a small group for actors, and then before you know it, I started dating the woman who would now be my wife, and she brought me to Hoboken Grace, and now I'm on the speaking team and talking. I mean, who would have thought that, you know, five, six years ago that I would be giving messages? Uh, it just, it, it boggles my mind to see how God planted that seed, even in high school, to say that church wasn't just about this one type of church that I was used to and just kind of kept following me throughout throughout showing me that church can be anywhere and that you can truly feel that there's not just you and before I started by the way I started to just kind of get rid of all that other thing and start just pursuing him and no longer living for me I guess is the ultimate thing and 